Greetings, I'm Jonathan Spear, and I don't really like rewiring my base, and welcome to Age of Engineering Super Shorts. But I'm gonna rewire my base anyway, because I'm about to expand my power generation by a lot. This time, I'm not using my own design, beautiful as it may be. I'm taking this apart and making something completely new, from somebody else. But before I take it apart, I want to make sure my base is still powered, so let's take this thing down for now. I know I said it'd be a few minutes before this recording, but then I watched a movie and had to go to bed, so I just left this going. You can shift right click on any multi-block block to break it instantly, as long as you have the assembler in your hand. I'll take down this MV wire connector. Sorry, totally wrong MV wire connector. But it's okay, because we're not running any of this stuff anyway. I'll take down this one. Done. Okay, it should be mostly cleared up now. Here's the garden cloches. Ender fluid conduits transfer multiple types of fluid instantly. A bit overkill, but it'll work. The reservoir, when filled with water, stays filled with water. It's like a glorified infinite water source. There we go, the tanks should all be filling up now. Now for mini chests in front of the cloches. I have a conduit should be hooked up now. This conduit will extract on red. This conduit will extract on brown. And this conduit will extract on black. Look, the canola presses and fermenting barrels. With the range collector right here so it doesn't steal crystallized seeds when I'm dropping them. For now, this reconstructor and dropper are set to pulse mode. This is the oil upgrade chain, which will eventually be controlled by integrated dynamics. Here's where the generators will go, wrapped around the conduits, and now I just have to hook up power and a couple more fluid conduits. Now that the generators are hooked up, the closures are ready to produce. All these doors are getting extracted and inserted to. Technically, the barrels and presses are running. This tank is almost empty, and everything's going generally just fine. Or it would be if we had integrated dynamics installed. So let's start working on that. Let's place an inventory reader on the crystallized canola drawer, two redstone writers, an NAD reader, another redstone writer here and here, a block reader here, two inventory readers, and an energy battery and variable store. If the inventory count of the crystallized canola barrel is greater than 2,000, then send a redstone signal to the dropper in order to activate it. Because we don't have that many seeds right now, I'm going to calm that number down to 500. If the entity in this block space is null, that is, there is no entity, then send a Renzo signal to the atomic reconstructor to deactivate it. Let's get a variable for when the block in the pit is oil, and materializing that value. Now if that block is oil, and the inventory count of this precision dropper is greater than 1, and the inventory count of this precision dropper is greater than 1, and if we add two of these boolean values together, and take the result and add it to the last boolean value, then set a redstone signal to the redstone conduits I have underneath here to pulse the precision droppers. And if I make a Yetta wrench, I can actually connect these redstone conduits to their droppers. Then I get empowered oil. Let's materialize that value. And now if the block is not equal to empowered oil, we'll deactivate this fluid collector. Canola seeds are now transforming and filling up this precision dropper. Because I set this one to deactivation mode. And once this fills up, they'll start going to the empowerer, which is now happening. Oil is now converting. The oil generators are getting filled up with empowered oil. In short, everything is working pretty much perfectly. All I need is 12 more oil generators. Now that we have more than 500 canola seeds, our reconstructor stopped reconstructing. I've just wired the generators up, but I'll have more and better wiring soon. Now I can reinstall my solar panel. In other news, I'm isolating a cultivated strain. I accidentally got a bunch of noble and diligent hybrids. I'm fairly certain fast is the best you can get without gendistry, and I have no gendistry, so woe was me. In yet other news, I'm stacking up my watermills because I need 2000 grid power. Why? That's how much I need to get an elytra. Speaking of elytras, in extremely other news, I also need to find a stronghold and the end, which means I need Eye of Ender, which means I need Blaze Powder, which means I need Demon Ventilous Sagmill. In increasingly other news, I'm going to be doing that all off-camera, including building a basement. A simple one, not with a billion machines like in my last playthrough, which made things really laggy. I'll just kind of wire power down there, and spread things out. Hopefully that works. So I guess that's it for today's episode. As always, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. I hope you enjoyed!